get my pointer again. Okay, so in the reading part, we again have to open up the file. So that, that is step one, right here. Okay, now what you have to do, the first parameter was the path. Right? In the open system call, the first parameter was the path of the file, so we have given that. The second parameter was, what was the second parameter? It was different flags. Okay, you can see here the read-only flag, rd-only, that means read-only flag. Why are you not seeing create flag? So this is a very, very good question, but why are you not seeing create flag? Because you know that when you, whenever you open up a file in read-only mode, you do not create it doesn't exist because if you create it if it's not existing before what will you read from it it will be empty if, if you just created it it will be empty obviously so keep this in mind this is very important that if you open up a file in read only mode you never create it so you never give that flag which you use here this flag you never give it this flag when you open it up in read only mode. also you're not seeing that, that 0600 here that, that you saw there, here in the previous slide. Why? Because this 0600 was actually the permission of reading and writing in a file, and that permission is given once when you create that file. Here in the read only mode, you are not creating the file, so when you are not creating it, you don't have to give it the permission. Right? That permission was given once it was created before. Okay, moving on. Again, you can see here we have checked if that file opened up successfully or failed. And then the second step is the read part, the read system part. Again, you can see FD is the first parameter. We are giving it the file descriptor, which we just got here. And then we are giving it an empty array. We declared it in the previous slide here. I declared it here. I didn't use it in the slide. I'm going to use it here now. So this is an empty array. It has the size of 14. And then I'm giving the buff size, which was 14 here. What it will do is it will actually, this, this read system call will actually read this file and then write whatever it, it was in it in the buff array. And afterwards, the third step is to close the file. And obviously, this is very important. I, I just explained why it was important. Okay, moving on. This part right here, I have just printed whatever was read from the file and stored in the buff on screen and nothing else. This is this is actually just a null character being added at the end of the buffer buff array. And then we have just printed it on screen. It's, it's nothing really uh, difficult. You have to add these libraries for the code to work. And further on, let's see a, a little bit more about the file descriptor. What is a file descriptor? It is the abstract handle to a file and it is used to access it. So it's, it's like a pointer to a file. And it is also known as file des. So actually, um, it's just a number, an integer number, that the operating system assigns to any file whenever that file is open. So, so it's just a number, an integer number, nothing else. 